this demonstration I'll be using a vacuum chamber and a bell to understand propagation of sound waves. Propagation of sound waves means the increase in sound through mechanical vibrations uh, going through longitudinal waves. In order for sound to be present, for example, like outside, uh, we have air that acts as a wave for the sound to vibrate and transfer to our ears. Um, in a vacuum, for an example, when I turn on the vacuum, um, the waves, are, the air is going to be sucked out. So inside, there's not going to be any waves for air to travel through, um, because the vacuum's not a uh, really tight sill as we want it to be. Uh, there might be some noise still. Um, this is just the extra air left over. But I will first turn on the bell. And as you can hear, it's pretty loud. Um, and I'm going to turn on the vacuum. And I'm going to wait for it to get sealed. sealed. So I'm going to turn off the compressor and I'm going to seal the, the vacuum. So you can still hear it a little bit. Um, that's just because they're still, the vacuum's not as great as we want it to be. Um, but once I actually let go of the air that we compressed uh, and let air go back inside, we'll hear it uh, get higher and higher in tone. Let's see if we can hear it. So as you can tell, the allowing air to go back in, uh, you can actually hear the bell louder. This is because the vibrations of the bell are transferring through the air and you can actually hear it. Um, and this is an example of propagation of sound waves.